My name is Keith Melville. Um, I teach at Airview Middle. Uh, I've been asked by a couple people to make a video about uh, the Google Meet attendance that I use. Um, I've used four or five of these, six of these, um, and some you have to click several times during the period I felt like I needed to because it would just take a snapshot of the attendance during that time. Um, so I don't really know if I only do it at the beginning if a student stayed the entire period. Or, you know, I don't know exactly what happened unless I do it multiple times and then go in and physically compare lists, um, which I just felt like was a waste of time. This one, the Google Meet Attendance by Alan Kohei, um, uh, does it automatically for you. You don't have to worry about the attendance. It saves the file for you. Um, it will. I'll show you later, but it tells you whether a student, how long they were there, how many times they came in, when they missed, everything. Um, the one thing about it is that it does take grid view to work. So the grid view I found that works is the grid view uh, fix um, by Simone something. And uh, so that one, I, I've heard other others of these won't show all 35 or 36 students in your classroom. Um, this one I've used during uh, staff meetings and I can see all 50, 57 people in my on my staff. Um, so all at the exact same time. And so that absolutely works. Because um, this is an insistence. If it's not in grid view, it will miss people. If they're not on the screen, then it won't take attendance for them. Um, When you, after you download those and install, install those and you go to your meet link. Um, now I do teach math support. So I teach um, six, seven and eight, all grades six, seven and eight in all one class. And so I have like some extra uh, things to take care of when it comes to Aries, but I'll get to that. When you first get and you first click on your meet link, um, it will look like this. It'll just be an empty list. First thing you're going to want to do is to click on the setup. Um, most of this I didn't change. The only thing I changed was um, I auto save. Now there's an HTML file that'll save and a CSV file, which is Excel. Um, I like the HTML file better. I feel like it gives me better visual information. It's much quicker to just go over real quick. Um, and I'll show you one. Um, the only other thing I changed was sort by last name. Now, it's not perfect when it comes to sorting by last name. Aries, if you have two last names and they are hyphenated, then Aries sorts you off that first last name. And so will this uh, attendance. Um, if they are not hyphenated and you just have two last names, Aries still sorts you alphabetically off the first last name. Attendance will, this attendance ex, um, extension will sort you off the second last name. So some students will be out of order. Um, but in my book, it's a small price to pay for it doing it automatically. So uh, that's the only two things I changed. I auto saved and I sorted by last. Um, the other thing you're going to want to do is put in your classes. And uh, the reason for this is that if I just leave, what it does is it automatically populates this list of students as they come in. And if I only have the one class, say class list, sure, you can just go there, but then all of a sudden I have five classes, all of a sudden I have 150 people in one list. And taking attendance is just then cumbersome transferring it to Aries. So right before I go into a meet, say it's fourth period, I click on fourth period and then I click join. Um, and now it's just those students. Now, 
if your student if a student has never attended your class then they won't be on this list and you kind of have to make allowances when taking attendance transferring it onto aries um so uh let's see um so we're gonna join a meet and what you will see is it kind of goes translucent this will pop up anytime every time it tells you what time you started the class um and uh that you have to use grid view so click on grid view and this goes away so it literally stays translucent there is a way to get rid of it if it annoys you it adds a check mark down here by the camera and the mic button um, you click it and it just goes away click it and it comes back so as your students appear for the very first time um, they will they will uh, have a question mark next to their name um, you go up and you click this little button it says clear attendance checks it turns those question marks into check marks now the next day when that same student shows up they automatically get a check mark it's only when a new student shows up do they get a question mark um, the button next to it is a stopwatch button I don't use it. I join my classes five, six minutes before class starts, and um, and I don't worry about it. This what this does is it starts. If you really like want it to start at nine, start keeping track at nine. Then click this button. It'll start keeping track at nine o'clock or whenever the period starts. Um, like I said, I don't really care. Like five minutes, give or take. There will be two other buttons over here. Um, it will be the CSV and HTML, so Excel and HTML file. And you can save them whenever you want during the period. I pretty much rely on it just uh, auto-saving at the end of the period. Um, so when it does save, when you leave a, a meet, it'll automatically, if you saw, it'll automatically save this file. Where it saves that file is on a PC, the downloads folder. I don't speak Apple, and so maybe someone could make a follow-up video about how Apple does it, because um, I don't know. Uh, so I move it from the downloads folder. I operate on Dropbox, so I, have a year folder. I have an attendance folder now in that and week four. And so these are all my attendances for the week, three days for each class. And if I click on one of them, what you will see is this. This is the HTML file. This is not the Excel file. Um, Excel file really only has their name when they came in, when they left. And I don't find that very useful. Um, for here, it is when they arrived, when they departed, how long they stayed, and entries. Now, this is how many times that they left the Google Meet and re-entered the, the Google Meet. Now, some of these, this guy was gone for a minute. Okay, each green box is a, is a minute. Um, and so I assume that that's internet problems, right? And that's fine. Um, this person, they arrived a little late, uh, 14 minutes late, and they left for two minutes here and five minutes there, or four minutes there. Um, so, yeah, uh, obviously, this person arrived well late. Um, there was one other, this person arrived really late. Um, but you can also visually tell at the end did anyone leave early? And no, not really. Um, so the pink ones are people who have been in my class. Uh, they've shown up before, but are absent today. Uh, so that I find really helpful. In order to transfer this to Aries, now, like I said, I teach six, seven, and eight. So I have three different lists in each of my classes for Aries. So I really just split screen it 
and I won't pull my Aries up right at the moment, but um, Aries will be over here and I'll just go through sixth grade and I'll say, oh, okay, Greg was here, Nevaeh was here, Wayne was here, right? And I just fill out that part and then I go back to the top and I fill out the second part and the third part. I find it the easiest. It doesn't take that long to do. I, I haven't found a way to to break these up by grade or class or section or anything like that. So, um, like I said, small price to pay to for having all this automatic information. I did nothing to collect this information. That's the beauty here, I think. So, my name's Keith Melville. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. It's Keith.Melville, you know the rest, SBC, blah, blah, blah. Um, you're more than welcome to uh, to email me and ask me questions about it. Um, I'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye.